we request that if in the audience we have any non-Muslim brothers and sisters, we would give them the first opportunity. They are our guests today. And non-Muslims can ask any questions on Islam and comparative religion. Even if they want to attack Islam, no problem. They want to attack the Quran, no problem. I'm young, I can take it. Any question? Please mention your name and profession. Ask a question. Yes, brother. Why don't you call me on Skype and defend your prophet? Why are you embarrassed by your prophet, that filthy whore, that slut who's burning in hell? Come bury me, because your prophet is already in hell, under the feet of Jesus, pissed be upon him, on Muhammad and his God. On Muhammad, on Muhammad, on Muhammad. On Muhammad, on Muhammad, on 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 Muhammad, on Muhammad, on on Muhammad, on Muhammad, Muhammad and his God. On Muhammad, on Muhammad, on on Muhammad, on Muhammad, on 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 Muhammad, on Muhammad, on on Muhammad, on Muhammad, Muhammad and his God. On Muhammad, on Muhammad, that filthy whore. I am your friendly neighborhood philosopher, David Wood, and with me, by popular demand, is the man who makes Muhammad's bones shake in their grave. It's the Christian prince. Supposedly, Muhammad is a prophet of Allah, and he is protected by Allah. You know, when the Quran said, in different verse, وَمَا هُوَ إِلَّا وَحْيٌ يُوحَى مَا هُوَ إِلَّا وَحْيٌ يُوحَى Anything to Muhammad, he say, it is nothing but an inspiration from Allah. That, okay. that is a very dangerous promise because you are saying that anything Muhammad, he say, it is from Allah. Chapter 53, verse number 4. And then we find that Shaitan, he was able to put in the mouth of Muhammad. If everything he say is from Allah, and then we find that Muhammad, no, he spoke what is not from Allah, and then Allah had after that to cancel it. That means that verse chapter 53, verse number 4, is a fabrication, not be true. Because the Prophet but, is still a human. We don't believe he's infallible. No, 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 you see, this is not about a human now. This is about wahyun yuh, about inspiration, about speaking of God. This is not about, you know, him uh, uh, speaking to his wife. This is not about him uh, making a, a mathematical error. No, this is about speaking of God. So when he say, Ma huwa illa wahyun yuha, he just say that anything he say is inspiration from God. So we are talking here about the protection of inspiration, that he say nothing but what Allah said to him. So he being, he being a human will not change anything because he just said to him, don't Allah knew that Muhammad is a human? He knew, right? So he's saying to him, he's promising him that anything you say is from Allah. Okay, and then we find that Shaitan is written in his mouth satanic verses. The Quran says, You have no authority over my servant except the one who followed thee. So, how Shaitan was having authority over Muhammad controlling him? Controlling him physically, mentally, spiritually. To the point Muhammad he bowed down to the three daughters of Allah. To the point Muhammad he cannot recognize his sexual life is true or fake. To the point Muhammad he do things but in fact he did not. How many fabricated things during the time Muhammad was controlled by the devil he did and Muhammad and Muslims they follow because remember Muslims they follow blindly whatever Muhammad he do. And as long Muhammad now is under the control of the devil, how many things Muslims they call it sunnah Muhammad he practiced at that time while he was controlled by the devil. Because as long as Shaitan was able to put in the mouth of Muhammad once, what is going to stop Shaitan from doing it again and again? And even making a verse like this to make you believe that, don't worry, he is the right person still. Well, because Allah is the all-seeing, all-hearing as we believe. And if that was to happen, Allah would make sure it's abolished. My friend, Allah could not protect Muhammad from before it happened. So he protected after it happened. So Allah, he made a promise to the point that if there is any invention, the punishment, I will cut his artery. I'm going to punish him and I'm going to kill him. Chapter 69, verse number 46. And this is a promise from Allah. The Quran said that Allah would sever Muhammad's aorta if he fabricated revelations and Muhammad died 
saying that he could feel his aorta being severed. I mean, that's amazing. That's so beautiful. Can I say Shahada or later? Please, take one. <laughs> Stay right there.